So now let's jump to the Azure Synapse pipeline to build the uh, pipeline for our incremental data load. So first click on integrate and then click on the pipeline and name the pipeline. So I'll give it uh, incremental load pipeline. Load, I'll give it a name, then I collapse this. Okay. And if you remember from the uh, logic slide here, we need two lookup activities, one copy activity and then stored procedures. Okay, so, okay, let me come here and search for the lookup. Let's bring two lookup activities here. And then I have the naming convention ready. So I'll go to my GitHub and pick the naming conventions I want. Okay, copy paste. Okay, so this one, one second, let me expand this. this is a, so this is the old watermark activity. Uh, and here in the settings, if you go, uh, like you have to click on new data source if you already have, haven't uh, link service. So we'll click here, search for snaps, dedicated pool, click continue. Let's give it a name. Uh, SQL tool table and we select our dedicated pool and the table. So here we're going to uh, select the watermark table. Click OK. So our old watermark activity is, is done. Now we have to set the our new watermark activity table. So we go here, pick the name from our uh, GitHub and go back here. Expand this rename this and for this we will use the same uh, link service but instead of a, a table we'll use a query and this is the query which is very straightforward query where what we are doing we are basically picking the maximum modified team uh, modified time as a new watermark value from source table so now our lookup activities are ready the next activity is the copy activity so we search for copy activity bring it here and let's give it a name or keep it like uh, to the default so first thing we need to set our source and if you following the video the source is the dedic as our dedicated sql pool and sync will be our data lake gen 2 so for source, click on new and snaps, dedicated pool, click continue. And one second, we can discard this and we can use this. And we need a query here. Control, sorry. Control C, go back here and let me explain you the query, which is pretty much we talked about in the in the slide so basically what we are doing we are taking all the records from data source table which are greater than the last which are greater than the old watermark value and less than an equivalent to the new watermark value so anything in between these two values will be consider all those record will be considered as source for our sync and here we are good now let's go to the sync click on new we looking for gen 2 search for gen 2 click here continue uh, you can uh, go with the data with the like a file type you want i'm going with the delimited one but you can go with the json avro parquet whatever it is you need but for this demo like dedicated bike lines should work so i remove dedicated time to pick this link service and this is the default link service as we know azure snaps analytics when we create azure snaps analytic workspace there is uh, like a data storage is by default connected or uh, mount to it i'll say connected uh, so this is the default service and then we go for user go here uh, so this is user is a, our file system name which 
uh, was given during the creation of uh, workspace and here you can see there is one file already existing but i don't have any other folders to store so i'll i'll use user as a uh, this file system as my storage and i'll click ok there, there is no directory there is directly user and then the file click I, I again click ok and for the file i'll i'll do one thing i just need to do that i'll add a dynamic value to it and which is just to like uh it's a straightforward simple one but why are we doing it so we know like for each incremental there is a like a new file so here you can see it's a straight concatenate where we uh, taking a like a, uh, a string which is incremental hyphen and then adding the pipeline a pipeline run id followed by dot txt file so click ok so when we our pipeline will run we should see a new file uh, with the new incremental pipeline run and uh, here we are good okay let me do this I go back to here do this and we are using the output of our like old walk watermark activity and the new watermark activity so we have to connect this to this oh sorry connect here and the last activity if you remember is the stored procedure so there are two store processors available one is general and the sql pool in our case we will use the sql pool if you remember we build the store procedure for water mark in our dedicated sql pool so i'll pick and i'll grab it to the canvas I, I expand this go to settings dedicated pool edw and store procedure is this and in our store procedures we were using two parameters so now we have to import uh, those parameters you see store procedures parameters so we have to import them and assign some values here you can see we imported both parameters last modified time and the table name and now we have to set values to them and if i go back here these are the values which we need to set and let me explain them to you so here we are setting the new watermark value as the last modified time so whatever is the output of the new watermark activity uh, that was assigned as a new watermark value is will be uh, aligned to the last modified time and for the table name we are using our old watermark activity and assigning this here okay cool so we good and now let's connect this to this perfect so our pipeline is ready our incremental pipeline is ready and we will revise one more time so we have a old lookup watermark new watermark then a copy activity where we copying from our uh, source to sync and we are copying only those records which are in between our old watermark and the new watermark and in our sync we added a dynamic um, file name there and, and and in the end our store procedure will be updated and now i'll debug it hopefully it should run but if not we will see what is um, but we'll see what's the problem but generally we haven't done we haven't made any mistake it should run but in case it not we will will look into the error okay before that let me publish this so we don't have any issues because sometimes what happens if you don't publish it like it debug also give you errors okay Let's, let me refresh this oh publish it's completed okay cool and yeah let's click on debug and you can see like it goes step by step it's a sequential so both lookup activities are working together then the copy activity after that followed by copy and stored procedures so wait it should not take that long if you want to see the output you can expand this and see they both are in the queue and oh perfect everything is uh, ran successfully so now how we can check it now we go to our data and look at the watermark table 
So previously, the value we set in the watermark table was 1st January 2010. Now it should be different based on the uh, based on the our source. I'll look at the source too. So source output. So if you look at the last modify time, is something like it 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 need to be uh, 2017 something. So let's check the output. Oh no, not bad. Go to the script. And if you look like our watermark value is updated to the last modify time. Uh, so that's all for this video. Stay tuned for the further videos. Please be safe and take care. Thank you.